Welcome to day 19 of Tales from West Gardner, Maine. We're at the convergence of uh, 295 and the Maine Turnpike. And this is a big rest area. And I want to introduce you to one of our greeters, Amos the Moose. Speaking of Moose, two years ago, two buddies of mine were driving from Jackman, Maine to Rockwood, Maine on Route 15, and they come across a dead moose laying in the road. Well, they stopped to drag it out of the road and realized it was still warm, must have just been hit. They got back in the car and kept driving toward Rockwood. And they come up behind the car with no roof, windshield flattened right down on the driver's side, going 15 miles an hour. They pulled up beside it. There was an old fellow driving it, probably 85 years old, and his wife next to him, 87 years old. Well, they pulled up and they said, uh, hey, did you just hit a moose? The old fellow says, yeah. They said, pull over. So he pulled over the side of the road. They got out of their car and they started chatting. They said, uh, you just hit a moose a few miles back. Why didn't you stop? He said, we couldn't. Why not? Well, once a month, Mother and I go to town for groceries, and this time we bought ice cream. <laughs> and that ain't all of it. They started looking around. They found a cell phone laying right there between the seats. They said, hey, you've got a cell phone right there. Why didn't you dial 911? The old fellow says, I didn't have the number. You can't make this stuff up. Anyway, Take care of each other, love each other. We'll get through this together, yeah. Welcome to day 20 of Tales from West Gardner, Maine. Here we are. West Gardner, Maine is the seat of a lot of interesting things. First of all, the Panama Canal was designed and built by John Stevens, born and raised in West Gardner, Maine, taught himself to be an engineer. Secondly, a few years ago, 1998, we had an ice storm in the state of Maine. Power was out for weeks. About halfway through, people started getting nervous. They weren't ever going to get the power back. They started looking around for answers. They put signs at the end of their driveways and said, come on in and have fresh muffins, bacon and eggs, cooked on a wood stove. We need our power. Please help us. Begging Central Maine Power Company linemen to come in and take care of them. One fellow went the extra mile. <laughs> he put a huge sign out the end of his driveway and said, we'll trade wife for power. <laughs> The CMP fellows were thinking it through. They took a big magic marker right at the bottom of the sign. They wrote, must see wife first. <laughs> we're in this together, just like the ice storm, and we'll get through it, just like we did the ice storm. Hey, take care of each other. Hug each other at home. Stay separated outside. Six feet. Take care. Yeah? Morning, dear. Welcome to day 20 of Tales from West Grand Maine. This morning, I thought I'd tell you about a little incident I had two years ago, right over here in the Central Maine. I was driving my car on Route 202, whistling along, pretty good pace, bull like the bomb behind my car, I know the rules. I pulled right over, trooper come marching up, I put the window down, handed my license, registration, and insurance card, all the details. He studied it for a minute, bent down, looked right at me and said, Hey, fella, your eyes are bloodshot. You been drinking? I looked right at him and I said, Huh. Your eyes are glazed. You been eating donuts? Not a way to start a conversation with a main state trooper. I'll tell you what. Mother just finished these glazed donuts. I'm having one. Oh! Hope you get donuts at your place. Take care of each other.